Good morning. Today we're going to be solving for values of x between 0 and 2 pi. So we're going to be dealing with radians. And um, right now we have sine of x is equals 0 0.75. And of course 0 0.75 is positive. So in which quadrants are we going to have our answers? Well, in the first quadrant, all of them, sine, cosine, and tangent are positive. <coughs> Here only sine is positive, but tangent and cosine are negative. Here tangent is positive, everything else is negative. Here cosine is positive, everything else is negative. That means that since sine is positive, we're going to have answers in the first quadrant and the second quadrant. So I'm just going to draw a couple of terminal arms here. Hopefully they're going to look like they sort of have the same angle. Yeah, they kind of do. Excellent. So, um, and of course we're going to need a, a, a graph, or, you know, a calculator to find out what the first value of x is going to be. Because I'm assuming that you haven't memorized, you know, like any signs, sign tables or anything like that. So we're going to use our calculators in radian mode and plug in sine to the negative 1 of 0 0.75. And that's going to tell us the angle in the first quadrant right here. So let me just quickly plug that into my calculator and I'll tell you guys what I get. So I got 0 0.8. Or eight, and that will be an angle in radians in the first quadrant, so right here. So that's zero point eight four eight. Then, of course, I want to find also the second angle, right here in standard position. And how do I do that? Well, we know that this first guy is zero. 0.848. So will be the reference angle right here, 0 0.848. So in order for us to find the orange angle here, we can actually just subtract it from pi, which is the whole thing right there. So pi minus 0 0.848 is going to be the second answer. And I'm going to do that on my calculator in real life here. Um, answer. So it's equal to 2.29, uh, I'm going to round it to 4 actually, 2.2935, actually just write 35, why not? Instead of actually using this value, I used the, um, the value that I had as an answer in the calculator. Okay, and those are the values of x. If you want to check it out and confirm that these are correct you can plug them into the into your calculator sign of this should be able to get 0 0.75 hopefully that made good sense and i have similar questions on this website that you can check out